Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a little news story for you uh, because there's a lot of interesting news. And by the way, I heard Jacqueline Hill got a Lamborghini and here's my sweet ride. I wouldn't trade it for a Lamborghini because it was my mom's old car. It's also been voted one of the ugliest cars ever. And coincidentally, my mom has purchased three out of the 10 cars on that list. One is the Nissan Murano Cabriolet. She also owned a Subaru Baja and a Nissan Q. Kind of a coincidence, but whatever. Anyway, so um, Sephora is supposed to be opening up several locations in different states today. However, there's something on the door I'll go find out after. They're requiring uh, people who are face coverings, although because of some of the rioting in Minnesota, it appears as though uh, this entire mall shut down yesterday and it looks like they might not even be open today uh, because of the uh, tragic death that occurred, or I wouldn't even necessarily call it a death, but it was over a $20 bill, which everyone's very upset about, including myself. So anyway, I don't want to say anything else too much about that because I know we all kind of come here to get away from some of the news that's going on, especially some of the really bad news that's going on. So anyway, I just did want to mention that. So um, anyway, so if you plan to go to a Sephora or Ulta's are also going to be re reopening soon, they are going to require face coverings at all stores, so that's a great thing. So if you plan to go, bring a mask or a face covering. Um, so also, Ulta noticed a 32% drop in sales uh, beginning with the COVID, although they are expecting stronger than ever sales in stores that are going to reopen. Um, so tester stations will be eliminated as of at all the Altas and Sephora's as of now. I believe there's some companies that are working on um, making individual testers so not everyone has to touch the same thing. So that's a very good step. Um, they're also going to be um, not doing like makeovers and things like that. And they are also going to be uh, cleaning frequently all of the areas of the store and asking people to stay uh, six feet apart. So keep that in mind. Um, anyway, Sephora will be having some extra face masks at some stores. So I just say plan on bringing your own because I know save the masks for everyone else. Uh, Australia, the beauty store called Mecca, which I was at and it is like the most amazing skincare beauty store I've ever been to. Um, they are going to have, they're doing some real COVID planning. They're going to have all their staff wearing uh, plastic face shields and re really uh, working on hand sanitizing stations and keeping stores at uh, lower than recommended occupancy and asking, uh, they're having a no touch policy and they're not taking cash. They're only going to take credit cards, which is a smart idea because then you have to touch everyone else's money. And the credit card stations, I think you just touch, you don't even have to touch them, you just tap them with your credit card or something. So, uh, One other interesting story, Pat McGrath Labs announced they are having their face of the brand, which is going to be Naomi Campbell, which is pretty darn impressive because she's been in the beauty and uh, modeling industry for 35 years since the age of 15. She's now 50. So I find that pretty impressive for a 50 year old to be able to rock something like that. It's pretty impressive. I don't know what I'll look like at 50, but if I look half as good as her, I'll be happy. So um, Johnson & Johnson also introduced that, or announced that they're not going to be uh, selling their talc baby powder in the US and Canada due to an abundance of lawsuits of people claiming the uh, baby powder is laced with asbestos, which has caused lots of cancer and lots of cancer lawsuits. So that is interesting. I'm gonna assume they're making some other version of baby powder that won't contain talc. I don't know. Um, so one other interesting thing I found, there's a brand called Asquan, and they, are, they make um, packaging for makeup products, and they introduced makeup brushes that contain a pilot technology, which uh, has been shown to after uh, using them, the coronavirus uh, uh, amounts on them after, uh, let's see, it showed that Pylodi's technology destroyed 99.99% of coronavirus uh, human strain on surfaces after 24 hours. 
So it's pretty impressive that they were able to make makeup brushes that might be very, very sanitary. So after 24 hours, they had no, 99.99% no coronavirus on them. So very, very impressive. And then one other interesting story, Sephora is partnering with Tmall Global to launch cross-border stores. They are uh, partnering with them, Sephora, and they're going to uh, introduce a Chinese cross-border e-commerce platform and they're working to launch a flagship store dedicated to connect Chinese beauty addicts with beauty global trends. So that's, that's pretty impressive, I thought. So lots going on throughout the entire world and uh, in Minnesota, some great things, some bad things. So that's all about, that's about all I have to say about all of that. So I guess uh, I've got my face mask. I'm gonna walk over. I seems like Sephora looks closed because I saw a couple people walk up and then turn back around. So I guess I'll find out. But yeah, this entire mall and a lot of other malls in Minnesota shut down uh, because of everything going on. So I know a lot of you guys asked uh, about me and where I was in relation to everything going on. And I am uh, not super far away from it, but safe. Uh, so. I don't know. I hope, hope ever, hopefully there will be peace somehow. I don't know how that's going to happen, but anyway, leave a comment if you guys have any interesting thoughts or news, and I will uh, see you guys more tomorrow. Thank you so much.